and see if the uh, individual uh, involvement of the different personnel will, uh, will be accomplished and will attain the uh, objective of effective delivery of basic services. Example, if the DOH would like to have a program in the town of Balanga to eradicate dengue, the police, the mayor, all uh, the personnel of DOH will have to agree on a program where they will be all sharing all these four uh, items. That's how I see uh, the alignment, if it is to really work uh, effectively. Well, these are really big ideas and big ideals that we need to work on so that there's really solidarity. And um, before we, uh, we go to the next session, I'd like to open the floor to some questions. Perhaps uh, Secretary Duque, can I have the mic, please? Okay, thank you, uh, Marides. Uh, just uh, information that I wanted to share to all of you is that uh, Mayor Joet uh, Garcia was recently a recipient of the Presidential Lincoln Bayan Award by, by the President last September 19. No? So just to see the consistency. No? That he's doing all of this and then there's uh, the, uh, the Civil Service Commission as uh, the administrator of the bureaucracy's uh, honor awards program. And so you see uh, that his efforts are not uh, in vain and that really the transformation has taken traction in his place. Now, however, I'd like to move uh, to the scorecard of uh, the PNP. I don't know if it was rather uh, malabo, hindi ko makita. I didn't see, it would be nice, as the saying goes, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. I was looking for uh, some kind of a uh, uh, survey, a, a public uh, satisfaction survey on the deliverables no, of the PNP at the ground level. So it might be nice to also have something like that so that you can again link all of this. You know, by the way, the president keeps uh, underscoring that you know, it's all, all of this is nice on paper, you know, all these indicators, all these strategic objectives. At the end of the day, Ito ba ay kumukonekta? Naramdam ba ito ni Juan? Naramdaman ba ito ni Juana? Yun ang laging sinasabi ni Presidente. So dapat ililink natin yon all the time, what we do to public service satisfaction. And be aware and conscious of the need to identify intelligent indicators that will precisely um, uh, 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 show the drivers of public service satisfaction. So I just wanted to, uh, to raise that Thank issue. you, Secretary Duque. May, I think one I of the me? challenges is the alignment of values. Ma'am, may I answer that? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, we go back to the roadmap, please. Can we flash the roadmap? There. In the roadmap, sir, if you will see, sir, the, the, the object, the, the aim of the roadmap there, sir, is the community, a safer place to live, work, and do business. So, all of these things below, uh, like we, what we all know in the PGS system, those who have been undergone the PGS system, these are all, these are all the, 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 the how or the drivers, but the outcome really is a safer place to live, work, and do business. And how do we, how do we measure this? In the scorecard, we go to the scorecard of the chief. It's the separate place to leave. Please, please open the scorecard. We conduct, sir, uh, through the WeBoss or the web-based online system, we conduct a uh, survey in the community. How do the community look at the police station? With all of these things that uh, we, we receive, we, we train, and then we do properly, how does the community look at his policeman? So we have the, because this is the ultimate aim of all, also of our organization, to be able to see how our people look at us, the reason for our existence, how do the people rate his policeman in the community? So we have the web-based uh, web online surveys that we conduct also regularly. While, while uh, we have not done that, not done this uh, all throughout our uh, uh, municipal police stations because in some areas we have problems in uh, connectivity 
but majority of the areas have been doing this like in uh, Pro Cordillera. They have a system on a, a survey and uh, uh, feedback mechanism on how the community look at the, poli the police station in Cordillera. So I hope, Cheryl, you are satisfied. Thank you very much, General Dolino. At this point, I would like to call on stage Director Cecilio B. Lorenzo of the Development Bank of the Philippines for a message. To the forums, organizers, conveners, to our special distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good afternoon. Uh, first, allow me to start by thanking ISA and uh, ICD and the uh, National Competitive Council and ICPE for inviting the Development Bank of the Philippines to this forum. However, it has been said that it is difficult to talk to a crowd or to an audience with a full stomach after lunch. But there is something worse. This is talking to an audience that has grumbling stomach before lunch. And so therefore, I will summarize my talk in two, I hope, just four minutes, with four points I'd like to make. First is corporate governance is not new to DBP. In fact, Way back in 1986, it was introduced and implemented bank-wide by none other than the founding head of ICD and ISA and the former DVP chairman, none other than Dr. Jesus Estanislao, who ignited that. And we are thankful to Dr. Estanislao because in March of this year, the bank was conferred the initiated status into the performance government system uh, this is after a revalida with ICD and ISA. And we pride ourselves to be the first GOCC to have obtained the initiated status title. The second point I'd like to make is good governance in, in DBP has resulted in uh, operating successes and, in fact, in better profits. In, uh, 2011, we ended the year with 4.02 billion income on core business. This was uh, this was a record break income for us. And in fact, in a speech during DBP 65th anniversary in February, President Noyne Aquino cited good performance of DBP. And if I may quote, just the first few lines. Good governance pays dividends, he says. It fosters confidence in our institution. The third point I'd like to make is that DBP stands to support the local governments. We have financial credits and services, specifically, if I may mention, four critical development sectors. First is infrastructure development, Second is responsible entrepreneurship. Third is efficient social services. Fourth is the protection of environment. In fact, as of the end of uh, June of this year, DBP's LGU portfolio stood at 13 billion. And in fact, that includes an existing loan to the city of Balanga, and we are processing an additional loan also from the city. We would like to grow this volume and help the local governments. The fourth point is really a, clo a closing message. And this I address to the ladies and gentlemen of our local government units. There is no need emphasizing that the role that you play in the development of your respective communities and in our, na in our entire nation is very critical. But equally critical is good governance, because good governance produces good performance and hopefully good profits, as in DBP. But more than that, it affords your constituencies the exemplary service, I would say, 
that they are looking for and that they deserve. And DBP is here jointly to help be able for you to attain your big ideas and big ideals. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Director Cecilio Lorenzo. We'd like to thank the panel members, General Dolino, General uh, Honorable Vice Chairman Escueta, and uh, our Mayor Garcia for uh, their discussion in our round table. Maraming salamat po. How far have we come towards making governance a shared responsibility? What more can we accomplish as we move forward with our shared advocacy? We will find out from our keynote speaker, founding chairman of the Institute for Solidarity in Asia, Dr. Jesus P. Estanislao. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, uh, Marides. Uh, I must meet everybody, uh, greet everybody, and wish you a pleasant afternoon. Which simply reminds me that a keynote speech is supposed to be in the beginning, but this one is just before lunch. And it is a terrible situation to be uh, in. Um, I preceded speakers with awesome powers. We had the Vice Chairman of Napolcom, who has awesome powers, uh, Chairman Villanueva, with awesome powers, and of course uh, the Constitutional Officer, the CSC Chairman, Chairman Duque, also with awesome powers. They have powers over the life and death of several institutions. I have absolutely no power 